into the game then. Um, build viewer should be showing. There we go. Let's get things ready to go. Um, replay render. We'll change this one to the defense. All right. So here we have the defense. This is a tier 10 British cruiser abomination. I mean, she's got gigantic guns for tier 10. Um, just like you would expect with a lot of the other British cruiser design, the bulk of the firepower is at the front. You've got the bridge and everything therefore moved to the rear, very similar to like the Nelson and Collingwood. And there's only secondaries, uh, behind it. Now, I think she gets a, yeah, she gets a, a, a nice chunky oh. heel. Um, but aside from that. Um, this is one of those cruisers that's all about guns. So Jabberwock, big question for you. Did you get the Kitakaze? Uh, you mean Kitakami? Yes, oh, I sorry, did, Kitakami. I, did that. I always mix those two up. Cool. Because the defense is one of the ships that you get on the way to the Kitakami. So, okay, cool. So you picked her up. Uh, is there a death pick in this replay? Uh, what do you mean by that? That means that you die. Do you die in this replay? Uh, yes, of course I die. <laughs> yes, of course. Excellent. Cool. Because I always take screenshots of you die. That That's what the death pick is all about. Okay, so let's take a look at how you've gone ahead and built out your defense then. Um, so you're started out by going with modules, main armaments mod 1, damage control, aiming systems, damage control 2, concealment, and main battery. So you're you're treating it like it's a battleship, essentially, right? Uh, basically, it's a battle cruiser. It has a battle cruiser burn time. Right. So you don't want to burn so as you much. So you have to build into uh, the fireproof. Okay. Fire extinguishers. Right. Um, alternately, aside from the uh, concealment, you could go for or not concealment. Sorry. Aside from damage control. Uh, you could go for steering gears to try to get that rudder shift time closer to 10 seconds. If you're playing up close and personal, the ability to angle your armor to incoming fire come, becomes more and more important. Um, but okay, that that I mean that that's a fine um, setup here. Uh, is there a special captain you're using? Yes, uh, we're coming again. Cutting him. Okay. Now, Cunningham doesn't get you any special bonuses aside from if you get two kills, then his talent procs and you get an extra set of consumables, which for this ship is nice. You get an extra smoke, extra heal, extra hydro. Comes in handy. Um, so you've got grease the gears, uh, gun feeder, priority target, survivability expert, superintendent, adrenaline rush, concealment expert, and top grade gunner. I, I mean, I think that's everything you'd want to pick on these. These are 356 millimeter guns that have pretty good penetration against enemy cruisers. So, okay. Now, well, one I thing I'm this, okay. I'm Go using ahead, this captain also on Goliath, so I didn't change it. This is basically my Goliath captain. And I mean, that's a fine setup for a Goliath. Sure, makes perfect sense. Um, now you're not running any signals, so you're not choosing anti-debt and all that. I'm guessing because this is a random battle, so you don't care as much? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, the replay then. And let's see how the game plays out. Let's speed it up a little bit. You are top tier. There's one lonely tier eight on both teams. That sucks to be them. Okay. We got some candy cane lights going on in the background. Thank you very much, Thud Twit, for taking care of our lighting for us today. So, what's your thinking here? This is uh, two brothers. Are you going to play in the islands? Or are you going to go more towards the middle? Uh, firstly, I was trying to go uh, right flank to Tali. But uh, you will see in a moment that uh, there's there will be a peculiar smoke there. Mm. And I don't want to push into uh, smoke uh, with this uh, ship because uh, I'm basically be gonna be farmed to death by it. Sure. So I yep. decided for this island. Okay. 
Yep, I see you heading towards it. I mean, that's very smart early on. Um, because if you were to go to the middle of the map, chances are you'd be spotted while you're sitting broadside, which would be painful. Hey, Colonel Nasty. And there's that smoke I was talking about. I see it. Yep, south of the, uh, south of that island. So that would be, probably be gearing. Could be, could be Kagero as well. Merry Christmas to you too, dude. Now, I don't like that you're bowing in front of a Slava and a Musashi. That feels kind of bad. Good use of your uh, Hydro here. You might choose to smoke up, frankly, just so that you can break detection, which would allow you the opportunity to run away. Now, you're going to do this open water? Uh, no, no, you're going to stay. It's a good position. Smoke generator. I, I guess. I mean, like I said, you're in front of Musashi, so you have to make sure that Musashi can't just bow Citadel you. If he can see me. Well, he has to see you first, exactly. So you popped your smoke. It's very smart. Smoke screen set. So, Palmer's gonna go down. Wo Wooster was detected south of you, so I would be concerned about uh, radar soon from him. And there's your first blood. Okay, so one more, and you get an extra consumable charge. That's gonna come in handy. I might space out my depth charges a little bit more. You want to try to get the sub on DCP and then get a full, uh, you know, fire flood on him. Torpedoes direct front. Standing by for instructions, over. ASW is available. You were spending a lot of time looking for him. And then now you've kind of looked away. Here comes Musashi Shells. Wooster turned away and went south. That's good for you. He can't... Uh, he can't get you on radar now. Oh, he just got smacked, too. Oh, look at Takahashi. You've got AP in the barrels. Just in time for the Takahashi to go broadside. There's the smoke. And because of that smoke, you are not spotted while shooting. And only an overpen. Sad. Yes, those guns are super accurate. <laughs> That's just my bad aim. And of course, Takashi Beach is right after you fire your guns. Feel like you were not leading enough when he reverses, but he's going forward now anyway. Okay, well, Takashi goes down to Balao Torps of all things. Um, that's a gearing that's going up the one line. Okay. Hey, look, it's the sub. So same thing there, fire off one depth charge, wait until they drop. Because if you get a fire, you absolutely want him to DCP that fire so that you can flood him, or vice versa. Oh look, the gearing. Torpedoes to starboard. Nice hit. Torpedoes to starboard. Gearing moves away. The enemy sub is pretty much forced to surface. 
So I'd have guns ready. Like, you're spending a lot of time. Never mind, you lost them. You were spending some time uh, with your ASW. I think you would have been better off just having guns ready. Oh, God, you're maltodized? Ouch. Uh, at that time, I didn't notice that my carrier was dead. Yeah. You will see in render what stupid will happen to on the left flank. Okay. Sub is still detected. You're gonna have to move forward. Torpedoes to starboard. You don't have the ability to DCP the ping. You did kill him though, so that comes in handy. Enemy submarine destroyed. Torpedoes to starboard. So because you've got Cunningham, there's an extra consumable. Okay. Torpedoes astern. I'd be looking at a shot in the Wooster here, but... Ah, oh, and then you torpedoed the gearing. Wow. All this trick in the book, right? To broadside in your smoke. Problem solved, sir. I might ignore the Musashi right now. I think your bigger threat is the Goliath is pushing up. Yes, this is what I need. Yeah, I see that. I, I mean, in theory, the Balao... You, you really want the Wooster dead for the Balao, but the Balao should be able to... ...torp the Musashi and kill it. Goliath is reversing? Decent hit over there. Lau got himself spotted. Uh, I like that you see the Blau is in trouble and you're switching to AP for the Wooster. This is really good. Why is the Kremlin going through the channel? I have so many questions. Uh, this entire game is like that. Now you play on the EU server, right? Yes. Okay. Good to know. Kremlin just one shots the Goliath. Ouch. So, um, at this point, you're going to go dark and then you're going to turn south. You want to challenge the Musashi? Yes. You're not afraid of his overmatch and everything else? It's still better than fighting uh, Slava. Okay. Fair. Musashi can miss. Slava, <laughs> rather not. <laughs> Slava, much less so. Sure. And if you can get on the cheek side of the Musashi, you can do that. Plus, you've got the Wooster to try to smack around. Okay. And I, and I have a support of then Carl Johnson. You do right. have the support of him. Correct, yes. You are up on a ship. You're up on points. Kremlin is extremely low, though. I would not have shot there. I don't think you have a good chance of getting a hit. Plus, uh, well, they actually do get a hit, but you don't set a fire. Plus, the big thing is you don't know where that Wooster is, so... Now you've got to deal with that. Looks like Carl got a hit on him, though. And you got the kill. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Wow. Now your fire, smoke fire penalty is 11.2, so you're almost on the extent of uh, being spotted while you're sh while you're firing your smoke. But see, I disagree. I like him taking that shot there because it yeah. gets the booster spotted and dead. Because that is true. Was, your sub was showing no indication of. Oh, let me spot the booster for my teammates. That is a very good point. <clears throat> Oh, look at your your Carl Johan taking all those torpedoes for you. That's very nice of him. That's looking high damage. Okay. So, now you know you're going to be spotted when you shoot, so you might as well just go full forward. Perfect timing. Your smoke expires anyway. I think the sub's probably going to kill the Musashi. 
Or never mind the Masashi gets the kill there and the Kremlin dies. All of a sudden now, you're down a ship instead of up a ship. That's the biggest problem we still have CV. Mm-hmm. Carl Johan gets the kill, so he needs to go to C. You need to go to C. Slava is quite low. Still exists. Midway is... Who knows where Midway is? And you haven't seen the Kagero all game. He's never been spotted. Did you ever think about going back to B? Uh, not at this time. Okay. Because it looks to me like the Kagro is probably in B. Yes. I mean, I see the four torps coming. So you're thinking you want to support the Carl Johan? To be honest, I was... Uh, I didn't remember at all. But I, since it's uh, it's uh, European B, uh, BB, it should have a good AA. And mm -hmm. sadly, the defense has basically no AA. Okay. Torpedo's so I wanted to be front. as close to uh, BB to <laughs> to have him uh, shoot the planes. I mean, that's a good idea. I always talk about this when you are, even if you have another person next to you that doesn't have great anti-air, the two together really does help. So if you can overlap Antaeir, it does help a lot. But your Adorata coming with you really makes it difficult. You guys are going to have to find a way to win this somehow. If the Kagro to honest, chases I'd to A, that's a problem. Uh, and that's a good thing. I was uh, looking all the time, uh, you will see in a few seconds, at mm. Adatara detection, if he is detected. And he is right now, so that says the Kagro is following. And no, plane is up. Oh, that's true. That's true. Planes are up. The tough part with carriers, right? You gotta, you gotta wait till the planes are dead before you can tell what they're doing. He's not detected. Okay, so the Kagro is going through the channel then. So this is exactly what I did. Yeah, you went for You're the going. channel, you've got Hydro available. And also I didn't want to fight uh, Slava uh, in the sea. Well, if you're lucky, the Slava's I mean, in the channel too, but we'll see. <clears throat> a little early for your Hydro, but okay. There's the Slava. Ah, there's the smoke from the Kagero. Oof, if only you hadn't fired in the smoke randomly. It's very, right. guns are it's very, it's very short to reload. I can't spam uh, guns. Yeah, I it's see that. Well, I mean, you could say it's a genius move because, you know, he literally torped nowhere. Yep. Okay. Kagro should die in the next salvo or two. There he goes. Kraken unleashed. And this is going to allow you to get into the cap. Now the question is, where is their midway? And is your Adorata going to be able to survive? And to be honest, this is uh, when the game started to fall apart for me. Sure. You will see, I, I, uh, I, uh, I will do... Oh, there's no way that guy survives? Yes, I know. No, <laughs> I no, he's... A, a few stupid mistakes now. Mm-hmm. Forced to turn broadside to the Slava. Bad, bad, bad. There he goes. Okay, so it's just you versus a Midway and a Slava. I think you're gonna have to charge the Slava. You better hope the Slava charges you. If he goes to C, you're probably gonna lose this game. That's a wonderful torpedo drop by that midway player. Um, and it's very funny, but I take a torp here. Why? Uh, yes, that's why I thought that. 
I was sure that they already ran out. And I do a turn. You're also talking to chat, so you've you've taken yourself out of the game and you're paying less attention because of that. And that torpedo is gonna cause a flood, there it is. But it's also going to cause you to reset the cap. I wonder if the midway's in front of them. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Smoke you could smoke here, actually. There you go. I smoke uh, too late a bit. Yeah. Uh, I would, if, as soon as you start smoking, you're not detected, hit full W. You'll probably dodge all of his drop because he's expecting you to stop and even set. reverse. Yep, see, there it is. All right, well, you might as well heal now. Two minutes no and 30 time. seconds left. No time for some cheeky moves. <laughs> uh-huh. Like I said, if you're lucky, the Slava is charging you, because if he does, then, yeah, you might be able to hit him like that with the torpedoes. Also, the AP into his side. Slava's quite weak on the slide. On the side. Midway says, I will kill you. That's cute. Silence! <laughs> oh, there's the Slava. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. So, um... Almost. Well, there's our death pick. There's our death pick. So yeah, the the only thing I could say is, you know, like, like I said, when when that smoke, when you get undetected by the carrier, that's when you pop all of your uh, your speed and you just go. Like I said, at, at the end of the game, I, I my my uh, totally banked after I took the torpedo. Mm-hmm. That's alright, well now we can take a death pick of you, so there you go. It's kinda nice. See if he was Sadly, toxic. Sadly, survived all those storms. Yeah, I saw. It is a good angle, isn't it? Alright, well let's take a look at your post-battle result screens. 1.6 uh, million credits, 100 and, almost 180,000 damage, some medals, and you know, your team not so much, but you did well. You almost beat uh, first place on theirs, so that's good. Not bad at all. All right, let's go into your replay render. Here it is. Now you will see how Malta died. Oh, I can already... Yeah, I mean, he's just way too far forward. And then uh, things come from around the side, if I remember right. We'll see. It's even worse. On your side, I'm surprised the Musashi didn't slap you through the face. Uh, <laughs> simply because that's what happens to me all the time. <laughs> I was sticking uh, close to this island because I knew that Wooster could uh, farm me to death. Mm -hmm. Because he basically would ignore all my armor and with his HE. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who gem? That, that is the irony about the defense, right? It's got no defense. It's only offense. What the doing. So it's possible that the Malta, this is a bit of a, an, a glitch on the side of carrier planes a lot of people when they they think that they are um trying to like they launch a plane squadron and then they immediately unknowingly set autopilot and i think that's what happened there because otherwise that's just ridiculous Well, the CV we work attempted to um, fix disparity in uh, carrier player skill. So um, there you go. I'd rather take a bunch of torps. 
forced back, runs away. Sevastopol tries to ram the Slava, does ram the Slava, but probably didn't have ramming flags. That honestly could have been game right there. Yeah, hey, if that Slava died, I would uh, win this game. That's what I mean. Right. So, the, the only advice I can give you from this replay was just what I was talking about with carriers, using your smoke as a way to prevent them from seeing where you are, and then as soon as you're not spotted, if you know you're going to have a drop on you, just full speed forward. Especially because I thought, aren't you running a propulsion module? No, uh, full tank. Full tank, okay. It's especially useful if you've got propulsion, but otherwise it's, it could still help you. Because you took a really big hit from that midway. He got very lucky with his gas, I suppose. Hey, I'm Rios. Yeah, that's what I mean. He, he took a big drop right there. So, and that's the only thing I could say. Um, I like your idea of torpedoing the channel, but if you really think that that's lava's right there, then, and it looked like you were starting to make that turn, but because you stopped and reversed, you, you kind of lost a lot of that momentum, right? Yes, because I was thinking, I need that uh, cup. So I wanted to stay in it. Right. Right. And at the end of the game, the cap probably wouldn't have mattered so much as getting that kill on the Slava and then having the flexibility if you needed to. But it's a midway player who clearly knows what they're doing um, because they he kept dropping you and everybody else compared to your multiplayer that just went and yeeted himself to death. So Stop between the two islands. Then smoke. Yeah, exactly. At the southern part of B, right? You're talking about in the channel. Patton, also high. I was hoping to catch uh, a midway mm -hmm. there, uh, right uh, from B. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, finally midway was at C9. Yeah, he probably was, or behind the island. Um, there, there ironically, where the multi died. That he, he could have tried to, to go uh, uh, towards A, uh, top side, mm -hmm. on C line. Sure. So I have to uh, get to see if I can spot him. Because that was my theoretical winning move. Uh, I find uh, CV and kill it. It could have been, the, like I said, I think your better choice would have been I, I want to kill the, uh, the uh, Slava, right? I mean, at that close I range... Uh, that the Kagero was in the middle. I had to go there and ignore the Slava. Right. No, that was. I mean, yeah, that was good. a good kill on the Slava and uh, or on that good kill on the Kagero. But I was saying at close range where that Slava was, if you were coming out angled to him and stuff, he probably couldn't have killed you that easily. You might have been able to get that uh, get on the side and AP him, but. Other than that, it was a good game. It's a nice uh, showcase of the, the characteristics of the defense. So thank you for sending that one in.